Hi, my name is Gerald Fisher. I'm the Public Works Director for the City of Independence. Today we're at the wastewater treatment facility for the city. All the city sewage runs to this treatment plant. It's a lagoon system style plant. It's made up of four lagoons. All of the sewage runs in at this location, which is the headworks. And then the, the sewage, the raw sewage flows into Lagoon 1, where it starts its treatment process. It ends up going through Lagoon 2 and 3, and eventually to Lagoon 4. At the end of the treatment process, we chlorinate the water and then dechlorinate it. And in the summertime, it's discharged to uh, some fields north of the city, and the rest of the year is discharged to the Willamette River. The way the treatment plant works is when the raw sewage comes in, the solids settle out, and the water is treated by a certain style of bacteria, and the solids are treated by another. Um, what ends up happening over time is, is that solid builds up. Even though it's getting broken down by the bacteria, over time it builds up. It takes many years to happen. And every so often what we have to do is uh, remove the biosolids and have them hauled off to a landfill. So as you can see out here, there's a uh, dredge that is actually pulling out the biosolids. That dredge uh, pumps it over to a facility that's over by the east side of Lagoon 1 and that's where they go through the dewatering process. We'll head over there in just a few minutes to kind of give you a better idea what's happening and explain that process. So the company we hired to do the biosolids removal is American Process Group and what they've done is set up several centrifuges to dewater the biosolids. The water's pumped in here and it goes through the centrifuges and then below you can see the biosolids that have been pressed and the water's taken out of it is going along a conveyor and is conveyed up and over into the truck to be hauled away. This is a pretty much continuous operation Monday through Friday and American Process Group is committed to uh, removing the biosolids in Lagoons 2 and Lagoon 3 in a matter of about two months. Because we're dealing with biosolids, one of the things we want to do is make sure that nothing actually leaves or runs off from the site. So American Process Group has put down these tarps and check dam spots in order to control and contain anything. And when they move the equipment out, they'll wrap everything up and the site will be uh, left clean when they leave. Once the biosolids are done as part of the next phases of the project, uh, phase two will be an upgrade to the headworks to actually screen off the biosolids so they no longer go into the lagoon and we'll automatically haul those off on a regular basis. The last phase is to put in aeration and what aeration does in the lagoons is it allows additional oxygen to uh, be placed into the lagoons and allows the bacteria to work a lot more efficiently. When we get the project completely finished, the plant will be set up to handle all of the flows for the next 20 years of both population growth and commercial and industry growth. 